Jo, what up, what up, what up? So this is how I mix this song. Let's listen to it. Then I'll just break it down for you guys. Okay. So if you listen to the vocals without the beat, this is how it goes. This is how it sounds. okay very nice and clean so let me just break it down for you guys how i mix the song so let me just meet all the plugins here and take them one after the other so the first thing that i did on you know auto tune yes so this is the auto tune that i'm using then after that i put this ns1 mono on it just to uh, block the boxes here we have a boot and we recorded in a clean environment but still i feel like putting in and blocking some stuff over there because this part was having some if i take it off listen you can hear it's like it's from his mouth here so I have to use this one to just clean those things from inside. If you listen again. Oh yeah, yeah. You can see it as cleaning, right? So then I just sent everything to a group here. This is my lead. So if you come to the lead, first of all, an EQ on it. This is the EQ. Um, I just got the low ends around 119. That's the only thing I did. So with the EQ on it, this how it sounds. My baby, oh my lady, what you doing to me? Oh my shawty, shawty, oh me darling, you're my reaping soul. Me say come back along, me baby girl. Me say come back along, me shawty girl. Me okay. So just to cut down those um, low ends from there. Then compressor, when you are listening to it without the compressor, you can see that it was just moving up and down, right? So how to use the compressor to tighten it up without the compressor. Listen. Oh, my baby. Oh, my lady. What you doing to me? Shoddy, shoddy, hold me that leg. I'm a reaping soul. Me say, come back along. Me baby girl, me say, come back along. Me shoddy girl, me say, come back. So you can now hear that everything has been tightened up. Just that the volume level has actually go down. So don't worry about that. As we progress on, um, I will just bring it up as we put certain plugins on it so what this compressor was actually doing here for us was to make sure we are having an even volume there isn't a part where it is sounding really loud and some sounding low we just wanted to have a tight and even volume over there so that's what the compressor this compressor is actually doing for us so and the next thing is the ESA, taking away the semblances right so Why I do it to me? It to me, to me. So if I take this off, this is what we are having. 
later why i do it to me oh my shoddy shoddy hold me darling you're my reaping soul me say come back alone yes so that's what the dsi is doing and then i just wanted to have bright vocals here so i put this one up brighter on it yeah i think this plugin i got it from this mixing engineer um timmy j yeah timmy j on the track yeah and when i started using it i can i kind of like it i like it so i've been using it in some of my mixes if i want bright vocals and stuff so shout out to timmy j on the track okay so just one db of gain me baby girl me say come back along me shorty girl me say come back along me pretty girl me say come back okay then after that i put this eq just to um i mean that one too i was boosting the highs a little bit right yeah so this attenuator uh, i added only one db then this one to three db just to so let's listen with and without it Why I do it to me? Oh, my shoddy, shoddy, hold me, darling. You're my reaping soul. If you listen clearly, you can hear that it gives the vocals, um, it makes it bright. Yes, it makes the vocal really bright. And if the beat is playing, it can actually cut through the mix well for you. You can hear the high ends and everything well. Yes. So the next thing is i just have to get some warmth for the vocals so what i'm using to get the warmth is this certain saturation from um filter plugins so around 30 the drive around 38.14 percent so it's to get get warmth for this vocal so with this saturation on it this is how it sounds with and without it oh my baby oh my lady why i do it to me oh my shoddy shoddy hold me darling you're my reaping soul me say come back along me baby girl me say come back along me shoddy girl yeah so the vocals is down so i use this compressor to i mean tighten certain things up and also uh, make sure i'm getting the volume level up yeah so there's the settings i had a gain of 36.08 and um, the peak reduction around 50.40 so with and without it that's how it sounds oh my baby oh my lady why i do it to me Shoddy, shoddy, hold me, darling. You're my reaping soul. Me say come back along, me baby girl. Me say come back along, me shoddy girl. Me say come back along, me pretty girl. Me say come back along. Hey. Oh, near me. Okay. So that's what this compressor is actually doing. Then the next thing is I just had to DS it. I can take some of the semblances off because I've been adding some high ends and everything to it. So I feel like the S and T ways were actually cutting um, coming in more. So I had to take it, take them off. So Okay, so after that my reverb settings you know i create an fxn so for the reverb this is the amount i'm actually sending and this is the reverb that i'm actually using also uh, yes and this is the settings for the reverb so with the reverb on it oh my baby oh my lady why i do it to me 
shoddy, shoddy, hold me, darling. You're my reaping soul. Me say, come back along. Me baby girl, me say, come back along. Yeah. And the next one is the delay. And this is the settings for the delay. And this is the amount I'm actually sending to the vocals. So this is the settings for the delay. And um, this is how it also goes. Later, what you doing to me? Oh, my shoddy, shoddy, hold me, darling. You're my reaping soul. So the next, the last thing that I did here is to put a double on it just to get some stereo effect over there you get it for the vocals so this is the settings for the doubler effect and this is the amount i'm actually sending to it to get some stereo um, effects for the vocals so oh my baby oh my lady why you doing it's just a little you can't hear it all that much but it's actually working to me yes and for the background vocals uh, the backing vocals i think is the same thing you can see for the reverb and stuff just that the amount i'm sending changes and for the preset for the backing vocals is the same but just that one or two things just change here for this this is the eq um the compressor uh, the compressor settings here is different from the lead uh, i use dsr the settings is just different and i put this eq just to cast some background uh, the low and uh, some of the low frequencies out and i boosted some of the highs here around 2 db yes and um i added this starting here just to get some warmth and this around i pushed the drive around 40.26 percent then we have our compressor here just to i mean level everything up so with the background come back along baby come back along go come back along girl uh, and i'm having um, this uh, stereo imager s1 imager here just to give it that wide vocals here it's ba backing vocals so i just wanted to have it wide so i'm putting an amount of 1.40 weight on it so without this one this is how it sounds Come back along, baby, come back along, go, come back along, girl. So without this, it, it sounds like it is actually in the middle. But although I did pan them left and right, so if you see, pan them left and right, you get it. Yes, and I reduced the gain around minus six. So that is it for this song. If you want us to work, my number is on the screen. There, just link up and let's talk business okay. come back along, see the girls baby, on my love